going to be my everyday makeup look, as I've had it requested quite a few times on my Tumblr, and I've never had really a chance to make one without my channel before. So this is going to be my first proper video, and it's just obviously my everyday makeup look. And I don't always wear false eyelashes, and these ones are actually quite big, and I didn't anticipate it when I bought them. But I do quite often wear them, so I did include it in my look. So, I hope you enjoy it. Hi, so as you can see, I've already applied my foundation. And before I put my foundation on, I apply this natural collection concealer stick under my eyes and here. Because it's a green colour, and it basically cancels out the red and any darkness, and it's really effective. Although it is a bit broken, and it was broken when I bought it, but it's pretty good. So it's only about one pound fifty. And then on top of that, I apply my Mac Studio Fix Foundation in NC37, which is like this. And I had to buy the pump separately because it didn't come with the pump. But the pump was only about three pounds, and then the foundation was nineteen, I think. And I apply it with my stipple brush, which is like this. I got from e.l.f. in the studio line for £3.50 which I thought was really good because it's such a good brush it's really good quality so you can see it's pretty good I've used it quite a lot so it's a bit dirty and then on top of that I apply my MAC Stu Skin Finish Natural Powder in this is in medium dark I don't know if it's focusing but yeah I apply that on top with this kind of kabuki brush I got from Primark for a pound and I, I really need to clean my brushes but yeah I applied that and then so after that I go on to apply my eyebrows which I'm going to do now and I'm going to apply one and then I'll see I'll show you the other. Okay so as you can see I've already done one eyebrow which looks like this and I use this number seven eyebrow pencil in number five deep brown and I basically just trace over my eyebrows with it like this sorry if I'm a bit close yeah that's how I do my eyebrows and then next I apply my base eyeshadow and I did use a white colour by Natural Collection but that's run out so I'm going to be trying this new MUA one I bought and it's kind of pinky but it's quite a nice colour so I'm going to be using that for my base so yeah I don't know if you can see but I've just applied my MUA eyeshadow to one eye and it is shade 16 and it's a matte colour and it looks like this you can kind of see the colour and I'll try and swatch it with you it's like that and yeah it's quite it's kind of pinky but it's a nice base colour to use and I just apply it all over my eyelid, right up to my brow bone, with this angled contour brush by e.l.f., which is really good for just base colours and crease eyeshadow. And I literally just apply it.
all over my eyelids like this. I don't know if you can see, but yeah. And then I apply my crease eyeshadow along my crease, obviously, <laughs> with the same brush. And I use, so yeah, I use this Maybelline New York eyeshadow in 750 Chocolate Chic. Oh, and I use this for my crease eyeshadow and just to blend it around here and under my eye and my lower lash line. And I just apply it into my crease. So yeah, that's my crease eyeshadow. I'm just going to apply the other eye and then I'll show you the rest of my eyeshadow that I do. Okay, so I've applied my crease eyeshadow, which looks like this. And it's just like that. And then I use the same eyeshadow and I get my contour brush by e.l.f. Which is just the same price as all the other brushes I've used, which is £3.50. And I use this to apply my eyeshadow in the corners of my eyes here and under here like this I just blend it up a bit and all in Same with the other eye. I feel such funny faces when I do my eye makeup, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but yeah, so that's my eye makeup done, it's just like this, and then obviously after that I apply my mascara, and I use um, number 17 Falsify Mascara, which looks like this. And it's a really good mascara, and I think it's quite cheap actually. I got it for Christmas, so I'm not quite sure, but I think it's quite cheap, and it's really good, and it's lasted me three months so far, and it's like nowhere near empty. So, I'll just come back to you obviously when I apply my mascara, so I don't do anything special. Okay, so I've just done my mascara, and as you can see, with my lower lash line mascara, I only apply it to a three quarters of my eyelashes. I don't apply it white in the corner, and that's just because it doesn't suit my eyes so well but it does look nice in some people, but this is just how I do mine, so I apply it like that, and then sometimes I just leave my makeup like this, but occasionally I apply false eyelashes and eyeliner, which I'm going to do today. So I use this Collection 2000 Extreme Felt Tip Eyeliner, and it's really good and it's really precise and it's just really easy to use so I apply this and I just apply it along my other lash line and I do a little bit of a cat flick in the corner like this so I don't know if you can see but yeah I just do that so and then obviously I do the same with the other eye I apply my makeup differently on each eye, like technique wise, 
just because I'm left handed and it's just easier. So yeah, that's how I do my eyeliner. Got little flecks either side. And they don't always match, but that doesn't really matter. And then afterwards, I apply both eyelashes. I usually use quite big ones because they're extension in my eyes. And I'm going to be using these. And they're from Zoo Drug. And they're um, these ones from the only way aesthetics, which I think is really good because they're only like £4.50 but look how thick they are, they're just amazing and I haven't used them yet but I can't wait to use them. So I'm so fiddly when I do my false eyelashes so I'll come back to you afterwards. Okay so these are the eyelashes, they're quite big because they're like bigger than I expected but I think they're really good, they're really good quality and the glue that comes with them is actually really good quality as well and I never usually use the glue that comes with eyelashes because usually it's just not very sticky and it's just really bad. This one's actually quite good but, and they were really good for money. So next I apply my brusher and I apply it along my cheekbone and I got this new one from MUA today, it just came in and everyone in YouTube has been raving about it so I thought I'd try it and I'm just going to use my angled contour brush, no, bronzing brush, sorry, from L, and this was £1.50 from their normal line. And I'm just going to apply this along my cheekbones. And I'm also going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks. I just blended that all in. I think it's quite cute actually. And yeah, so I'll be using that every day. I used to just use this anyway bronzer. But I think when it comes up to summer, I'll be more of a rosy grey rather than a quite harsh line. But I might use it still for evening. So that's that. And then I just apply some lipstick. I actually could do nude lipstick lately. So I'm going to be using this natural collection lipstick in sheer natural autumn glow. Do you think I see it? But yeah, this is it swatch. It's quite a nice nude colour. So yeah, I just apply that all over my lips. And it isn't actually very pigmented, but I still think it's quite a nice colour to use. So yeah, I'm going to be using that. And yeah, that's my whole makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it, and maybe try it for yourself. Bye!